Bartendo Boy, and welcome back to Minecraft. So today I have a bit of a discussion video for you guys, which you guys have seemed to enjoy um, lately. Um, and today's is going to be on, of course, UUIDs, which is how I did my Unkillable Entities video, and also how I made my um, my little um, soldiers in one command. So, uh, UUID stands for Unique Universal Identifier, and it is selected randomly to mobs, and if we just go ahead and uh, we summon a pig here, as you can see, we can set its UUID to this little string of numbers here, and then if I go to Entity Data at E type equals pig, and then I just put an empty string here. You can see that right here it says UUID least, and then it has five, six, and another string, and eight, five, and another string. And then um, we could go ahead and do scoreboard players set at E type equals pig. And then we'll just set to there. Um, let's see, what's a score that I have? Um, set rising to uh, one. We, as you can see here, uh, we set a score rising for player this, this, and this. And now, as you can see, it's a two, and it's a two, and it's a two, and a two, and a two. And these are a long string of numbers that is combined by the UUID least and the UUID most combined to make the string that I made which was um, two, 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 five twos there. And of course, there's the, the dashes in there. Um, but if I do entity data at E, well, let's just do this here. And we do UUID, and we try to change its UUID by changing out to 3333. Three, three. As you can see, it says it's successful by changing its UUID. But the UUID tag is actually deleted as soon as um, the mob is loaded in the world, and it is then compiled into the UUID least and UUID most. But if I just do entity data here, as you can see, we still have that 5 6 string and that 8 5 string. And if we just go ahead and hit pig rising, as you can see, their UUID is still 2 2 2. 2. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but the reason for that is um, UUIDs can't be changed with entity data. Now, um, that's probably for the better because I can mess up some things in the code. I won't say I'm an expert on it. Um, I'll have a link in the description to some awesome videos done by some other YouTubers that they've done on some of the things you can do with UUIDs. Um, but that brings us into the next section where is... What can you do with this? We've learned that UID most and least tags are combined to create UUID, which um, allows mobs to be separated from one another and not be selected all as one entity. Um, but how can we use that um, in map making and stuff like that? Um, well, as you can see here, I have a little summon command for an armor stand, and this is the exact command I used for the um, unkillable entities and the armor stand is invulnerable has no gravity it has its show arm set to one no base plate custom name um, marker one marker one is very important because it makes its hitbox too small to be able to um, actually hit and destroy like you normally would in creative mode and then we give it a little UUID and this one is identical and if we do this as you can see, we summon a little armor stand, and we can do kill at E type equals armor stand. And as you can see, it kills our armor stand. But if we spawn two of them, both of these having the same UUID, then when I do kill armor stand, it says I killed two of them. But in reality, only one of them is deleted here. Now, if I were to relog it would realize that this one is still here, and then I'd be able to kill it because um, it's the only one that exists, so it's unique once more. Um, and that's a problem that I ran into my with my soldiers, because another thing you can do with UUIDs is um, 
say when you throw a potion, let me just demonstrate here. Let's grab a potion of healing and a little zombie right here. And we'll do this in some shaded place. But um, when you attack a mob with, say, a splash potion or a bow or something. Hold on, let me just go into game mode zero. Well, it'll probably attack me anyway. Um, but this will probably be better with a pigman. But pretty much what I'm demonstrating is mobs are able to track um, who they were hit by and what they were hit by, which includes other entities, which is why creepers can uh, sometimes, you know, or pretty much any hostile mob can attack another hostile mob, which of course is how you get music discs. So how that works is when I shoot a uh, arrow right here, that is strapped to it, a UUID that is linked to me. And if that is um, hit by a mob, then the mob will remember that I hit them. If another mob hits another mob, then their UUID is put onto the other ones, um, telling them to attack them. And that's kind of how my soldiers work. I'll have an awesome video that, um, uh, well, a lot of people have done videos on uh, making mobs attack each other. I'll have a link to some of those in the description. Um, but obviously, I'll also leave a link to my soldiers, um, which you can actually click the screen right now to see my soldiers in one command. And if you want to see my unkillable entities, which is another thing I use UUIDs for, you can click the screen now. That's about it that there is to UUIDs. They have lots of weird, quirky glitches and stuff, but as far as learning the basics and things that are rather consistent, that's about it I can really teach you for now. If you have any more information that you want to share make sure to put that in the comments below and as always thank you for watching <sighs>